Oh, I'm John Penny and welcome back to Star Sand, where of course in the last episode we explored behind the door and then in between the episodes I've done a ton of grinding and I've got 10 barrels together ready to do the plan. I've brought the plan with me just in case. I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to put these things, let's just have a quick look, but I, I think I've got an idea roughly where it is. So we've got to go and switch the rain machine on and then up in the top left corner we have that, um, I think that is the valley that we crossed over and you can see those stepping stones going up the side there. I think that's where we placed the explosives and then obviously with the, we put the night vision goggles on and I would assume shoot at the barrels or she sets the barrels off and rears up and then we can shoot that emblem with those night vision goggles on. So it might be easier to do this at night, I'm not sure, but uh, that took a lot of grinding for me. Um, I, like the charcoal wasn't a problem, I could just set up some burners, just start burning wood, that's no bother. Uh, it was the uh, sulfur. I didn't have much in the way of sulfur. Uh, we needed like a hundred sulfur as well as a hundred charcoal to make all of that. Um, which I had some of it, but I didn't have all of it. So I had to go around and get up a lot of lot of sulfur, but never mind. Uh, that's a me problem. So let's go back this way. We're also missing the artifact of the last one. And I've got a feeling it's got to be in here. Uh, as I was riding about, it's like I went in a couple of the ruins, but... I've been in them all anyway, so I don't think that it's anywhere in here. It's either in this first room that we came in where we found this rifle, or it might be uh, in that middle oasis where we got the plan for this uh, attack. So those are my two guesses as to where it is. So we'll have a little bit of a search around. The food trough, yep, should still be here. That's great. Let's just let you catch up. There we go. It's brilliant. Right, there, they should all be fed now. Let's just check that food. Yeah, that's all good. That's fine. Uh, the main problem we've got is that these things don't stack, so yeah, that's a bit of an issue, but oh well, let's keep on going, so I can't carry as much food and water and all the rest of it that I'd like to, but I think we'll be okay. Let's just continue this way. I'm going to have a quick look around. As I say, I'm not sure whether this is going to be easier in the day or at night time, although I guess if it's raining, it's going to kind of go a bit night time anyway, isn't it, if that makes sense? So um, yeah, I feel like this is probably the spot... You know, I may just have a quick look around here. Either that or it's in the middle oasis. If it's not there, then I, I don't know where it is. Maybe, maybe the uh, mother thing drops it. I don't know. The alien queen. Uh, that might be a thing as well. But, um, yeah, the cedar, the cedar rifle was in here, wasn't it? Yeah, there's my bow. Don't see anything else. Huh. Yep, I can hear a rum. Oh, hello. There we go. Yeah, we found the last artifact. Perfect. Brilliant. Well, let's watch that then, shall we? Um, there we go. I felt it was either here or it was in that other central oasis. It had to be in one of those two locations because I've not found it anywhere else. Uh, but anyway, let's watch this and we should get another cutscene. This should be the last one. Okay, right, so I wonder, because the uh, the thing it has is a pyramid symbol, I wonder if that, uh, there, if you see that in the bottom right corner there, 
I wonder if that's the pyramid that they just used to teleport, and that would be the um, building that we teleported here in the first place. Huh. Interesting. Okay. All right, well, there we go. Well, I've got some stuff. Uh, I've not got enough st enough room, but I've got some stuff to make some um, some of those shelters so that I can at least save scum and uh, jump across, um, because I think that's the way to go. You can build, I believe you can build um, bridges across, but yeah, uh, that seems like a bit of a pain in the arse, to be honest to me. Uh, but uh, yeah, you could just build bridges and run across. It might be a little bit easier to do that, but I think we'll be okay doing the jumps. I managed to do them mostly last time. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, so I'm going to chuck a save down. I might just go and refill. Yeah, go and refill the water canteen from up the top there. Because there's a little oasis over there. I look, grab a little bit of food as well. Um, just in case. Um, I guess though, when it starts raining, will that just give us food? Hmm. Might do. I'm not too sure. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, start building a shelter. Uh, where are we? Palaceable. Let's go with a shelter. And then... There we go. And then, yeah, I'll go and refill my water bottle as well, I think. Okay, well, it's night time now, as you can see. And I've been up there, filled up my water bottle and had a drink. And I also ate some of the fruits that were over there as well. Uh, and I got some of the red, uh, some of this uh, red leaf as well. So let's just make this jump. Go for it. We should be okay to just make those jumps. Yeah, it would be easier, I guess, to build across this. But... Um, yeah, uh, that would require a lot of materials, although I guess you could probably do it with some of those materials there. I don't know if you could do it with the wood or the clay or both, but yeah, I guess that would be a little bit easier. Let's just kind of jump past these guys because they seem a little bit on the indestructible side. So we'll just try and leave them alone. Uh, I did bring some bandages this time as well, so we're, at least we can heal up a little bit unlike last time. Um, and then we should just be able to, yeah, just over this side, and then that should be where the rain machine is. And there is a... Oh, there we go again. As soon as I hear those guys, I'm just going to jump away. Because, um, yeah, it's a little bit easier. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. And then, I'm not exactly sure... Uh, where was the... Uh, where was the thing to climb down? I think... Oh, hello. It was past... So we need to activate the rain machine and then continue... Continue on, right? I, I can't remember where I went from there. I think it was over this side, wasn't it? Yeah. Alright, well, we've got to make the next jump anyway. Oh, these guys again. Let's jump out of the way. Because, um, yeah, that would suck. Right, there we go. And then I've got to build another another shelter. Okay, right, here we go. So, yeah, I jumped over there. And then I think I jumped over to there, didn't I? I think that was the next jump uh, to make. So, but obviously we've got to go to the rain machine first. Let's do this thing. I kind of cheesed it up there last time yep there we go I managed to cheese it up that's fine let's go to save point down there we go and then uh, where was it over this way wasn't it we'll go and activate that rain machine uh, probably a few cuts in this one as well and then it was a jump over to there so I'm not exactly sure I think it's that uh, valley that had no um, uh, like had no gas in it I would assume that that is where the rain is although should we wait till morning yeah, let's wait till morning. Let's wait till morning. Okay, here we are. It's morning. We're outside the rain machine. So let's go and activate this sucker and get it going. So open, turn on. Ooh, hello. Yeah. Cool. I like it. There we go. And then... Yep, outside it is pouring. So, yeah, I was going to say, we probably don't need it to be night time. Um, I mean, I might want to wear the goggles all the time now. So, yeah, you might have to uh, go with night vision mode. But uh, we should be okay. And then if we jump... It was from off this top bit here, wasn't it? Kind of got to get our bearings. Uh, ooh. Oh, that's like the exhaust ports for that thing, I guess. Ah, right, cool. Okay. Yeah, I get you. For the rain machine, does it last for it? I'm assuming it has a timer, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's go. So we got to jump off of there onto the other thing. Okay, uh, let's go down. Did I go down? I think I did last time. Right, there we go. 42 days survived. So that should now 
Yeah, it looks like water, doesn't it? Cool. Right. Let's go for this. Jump. Oh, there we are. Brilliant. Right, we've done that jump. Let's run through here now as well. Um, I don't remember where I went, though, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get lost in here. But hopefully I can find my way out. Aha! Yeah, here we go. I am at the Oasis. That's brilliant. That's great. And then if we keep going, that was where we continued on. I don't think there's anything here. I'm kind of worried that the uh, thing takes a time, takes some time to charge or something. So I'm just going to quickly grab a drink. Quickly. And then we're going to continue on. Um, so I kind of worry that there's, there might be like a limited time on this thing or something. Maybe we will have to build bridges. I really hope we don't, but... We may have to, which would be a bit of a ball like if we had to do that, but we'll see. I think we'd be okay, though. Um, just keep on going this way. Let's get up here, and then it wasn't too far away. Was there another jump? Or was that it? Oh, there was another jump. Right, okay. Did I leave my shelter back there? Well, let's craft another one anyway. Um, we'll just quickly get one down, put a save down, and then we'll kind of go from there, I think. Okay, right. So, I think it's the jump over there, right? Pretty sure that was it. Let's do this thing. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Brilliant. I'm we'll trying to get a move on. I'm kind of worrying that this... Uh, oh, God. Yeah, those things as well. I'm kind of worrying, though, that this uh, rain is going to... You know, it's starting to look a little brighter, isn't it? So, I hope that it doesn't have a time limit on it. But let's just keep going. And then we'll get another shelter built. And then it will save, because I think this isn't too far. Yeah, look, you can see the steam coming up for that thing. Or well, the exhaust coming off of it. That's cool. And yeah, the, the gas has turned to a liquid. Interesting. Oh, boy. Let's get rid of these guys if we can. And then I don't know where I'm supposed to put these things, but I think it's somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, there's those stepping stones up there. So uh, that's got to be the way to go, right? So if we build another... Uh, safe spot here. Oh, does he does he run through there? Oh boy, no, not those things again. Uh, those things are a freaking nightmare. Okay, right. Yeah, I think they've disappeared. I have no idea what they are, but there we go. Right, let's get a shelter down, and then we'll climb down into there. I think, or the best thing to do. Okay, right, well, I'm just crafting the shelter, and these guys have turned up. I just had a rumble, and they turned up. Interesting. Ow! Daddy things. Right, okay. I hate those crap things. <laughs> they are really annoying. Okay, let's save it. Let's pick up my axe. Uh, I'm going to take the bandage. There we go. And then down into here. But I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Ah, like, maybe over there. Oh, boy. Alright, well. Let's go this way. I have a feeling he may be rumbling down this way. Ah, there we are. I'm seeing these burn marks. There we go. place all of these barrels. I'm hoping he's not running up and down here. Because if he is, I'm kind of screwed. Well, we're about to find out. Uh, is that all the barrels? Yes, it is. Okay, right. Uh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, can I hide? Nope. Okay. All right. <laughs> Alright, so he's he's uh, running around, so I need to wait for him to then, or her, to pass by. And then we've got to jump down there and do that a little bit quicker. If I kind of get on to, over the top of where the barrels need to go as well, it's probably going to be a little bit easier. Okay, here we are. I'm waiting, and I'm getting a rumble. I've been waiting for quite a few minutes. So, hopefully, I 
I think this might be it. Yes, no, maybe so. I've had a rumble already and it didn't... Ah, here we go. Here we go. That, there we go. Is that got it? Am I shooting at it right? Oh my god, I'm out of cedar stuff? Oh, come on. Oof, there we go. I'll take it. Oh boy. Oh wow. Uh, can I loot this thing? Okay, I didn't get anything for that. Uh, really? Did I not get anything for that? Okay, yeah, so I'm looking around. I don't see it dropping anything. Uh, the only thing, I mean, ooh. Hello, is that? Can I, oh my God, I can crawl inside this thing. All right, okay. Um, fair enough. Uh, oh, key. There we go. So we should be able to go home now. Go back to the start place and activate that. Is that right? Hmm. I don't know. But either way, that is pretty cool. I'm going to take some screenshots of this thing. And um, yeah, we'll get out of here. Hmm. Oh boy, can we, can we run back? Uh, what is it like where the uh, smoke was and all that sort of stuff? I'm going to, I want to save it first. But let's just quickly go and have a look, shall we? Dang, yeah, this thing is a big monster, isn't it? Um, yeah, so we could crawl inside it. Fair enough. I thought it glitched out then for a second, but... No, no, it's just me being stupid. Right, there we go. So... I don't want to go too far, because uh, I might just suddenly walk into something and I haven't died. Uh, I haven't saved it, so... I don't really see anything. Well, it's just going to be water, isn't it? So... Oh no, the smoke's still there. Fair enough. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to go back up the top where I was, and uh, I'm going to put a save down, because, uh, yeah, I don't want to lose my progress. Okay, well, I'm on the other side where the stepping stones are. I couldn't seem to climb back up that side. So, uh, really, I think my only option is just to push forward and loop around. I would guess that that is probably why you want to make uh, bridges, because it's just easier to get out, but... At the same time, it's like, I guess it is, but at the same time it kind of isn't, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, by the, t the time that you've spent building all those bridges, you could just jump across all of the canyons and get out of there. So, um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, there was an enemy here as well, wasn't there? Yes, there was. There we go. He's still here as well. well. There we go. Oh. There we go. Make sure he's dead. Let's also drink. So, yeah, I'm going to try and get out of here and then... Oh. Oh, the rain has stopped. Okay, yeah, I did think of whether it was like a limited time thing. Um, hopefully the rain doesn't have to be on. So we've got this key. Uh, I just forgot to show you that. So we've got the alien device required to activate the portal. So I would assume that we have to go back to the start. The very start. That kind of looks like that. Well, that's what that looked like to me. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, I'm just going to try and make my way back and try and avoid all these things that want to just... Yeah, annoy the crap out of me, right? Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're into here. And so at least we kind of know where to go. So I don't think it's going to take me too long to get back. Um, if we have to come in here again and activate it. But I think it's back at that um, start place. That's my only, that's my only thinking anyway. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's push on anyway. But you guys have seen all this. So I'll just, uh, I'll just do a cut. And uh, you won't have to suffer all the jumps. Only I will. <laughs> All right, I've just made the rain uh, machine jump back to here. And I was just kind of curious to know what's going on with this thing. All right, so it's 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 still on. Yeah, it's still on. Oh, but I can't interact with it anymore. Okay, all right, fair enough. 
good to know. I just wanted to know that. So uh, yeah, we'll just. I'm just going to crack on. I've got the. A uh, couple more jumps to do after this one, and uh, then we've got this one, and then one more, and I think we're out then. Um, so it's actually it's not too bad. Um, yeah, building building bridges and stuff would be a lot easier, but I'd say I think it'd be a hell of a lot more time consuming as well. So, um, but hey, you know, you do you, whatever. Um, but I think this is probably the easiest way to do it. Is just do the jumps, uh, but you do need some bandages. Um, that's for certain. I came through last time without any bandages, and that was not good. So let's save. And then we've got to do the jump, and it was to that one, wasn't it? Yeah, because I kind of face planted. So, uh, yeah, let's do this one. And then we've got one more to do as well. And that should, there we go, be it. That's brilliant. And then we can just get out. Oh boy, yeah, this thing does propel you quite forward, so you've got to be really, really careful with it. But there we go. Yeah, it looks like a, I can't really tell, but yeah. Perhaps it is gas again. Kind of looks like a river to me, but there we go. Um, so yeah, the rain machine is just a one-time deal then, I guess. So, all right, well, oh, it's just some leaf seeds. I'm not too worried about those. Uh, let's get out of here. So, yeah, I think all we've really got to... Oh, God, it's those things. Those things are still about. What are those things? That's the question. Uh, isn't it? So, oh, God. <sighs> Almost went off the side then. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's go this way, and we'll just get out of here, and then I've got to ride south to where we uh, came when we first came here, the first uh, building we ever found. And, uh, yeah, that's where we're going to get out and activate this key. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll just see you guys down there, really. There's not much. Uh, I'll keep it going. If anything happens, I get attacked or anything like that. Oh, we never built that um, device, did we, uh, that we found? Yeah, we'll stop off at home, and we'll build that device. Um, I totally forgot about that. So yeah, I'll see you back at home. It's probably going to take about 15, 20 minutes to get there. But um, yeah, you guys don't have to suffer that. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, all right. I think we must have had a rumble when we were when we were in there. So, oh, here comes another one. Yeah, we did, but we got attacked by a bunch of stuff. So I'd assumed that that was it. But nope, they're waiting out here again as well. But... Uh, Yep, there we go. We got everybody else. That's great. Um, yeah, we'll leave that food there. Why not? Right. Let's grab you and let's get going again. Let's go. Uh, oh, yeah, it's night time. I can't switch the uh, <laughs> night vision goggles on with uh, when I'm on the when I'm on the camel. It's the same button. So never mind. Oh crap! Hang on. Okay, welcome back. It's the morning and I'm back at base. I'm just crafting up the decoy. There we go, decoy crafted. Uh, so we'll do that and then we'll go and hit the um, uh, the place that we came in down here. It should be kind of somewhere in that general direction over there, I think. Um, yeah, the pyramid's over that way. It should be in that direction somewhere. Uh, let's put this thing down. So it does say, let's just actually have a look at what it says uh, when we crafted placeables. Uh, decoy there's still two things I'm missing I'm not sure where they are uh, a device uh, designated to uh, designed to distract hostile desert creatures okay so that should keep them away from us can we put that like inside the house I'm assuming we can't we have to put it on the ground yeah we have to put it on the ground fair enough um, I mean I'll just put it there do I have to do anything with it oh, I can pick it up though oh interesting and then plop it back down Pick it up, pop it back down. Okay, fair enough. We can do that. So, uh, really, I mean, hmm, would that? I'm assuming it'll stop attacks or uh, distract the attacks. But will we get attacks anyway? Because the queen, the mother, whatever, whatever she was, is dead. So, I don't know. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, we may as well go and use this key. So, uh, let's get the gate open for the last time maybe i don't really know what we're going to do here but i'm assuming we're going to go back to earth but uh, no stop walking in that direction which you know what we'll bring both of you with us why not you gonna follow me yes you are that's great um so yeah we've just got to ride back down there use this key and then jobs are good and i assume we're going to end and go home i have no idea but um let's get there anyway and uh, we'll find out shall we
Okay, so here we are, where it all began. Let's see what we've got to do. I'm assuming this is the place anyway, so... Oh, hello. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so insert the device. And, oh, a Stargate has opened. Okay, right, well, goodbye camels. And let's find out what this is. I'm going to assume we're going to get some cutscene of some sort, so I'll uh, be quick. Did we just walk in? Yeah, there we go. Right, cool. I'll shut up and let the cutscene play out. And so I plunged into the deep fabric of space-time, gliding through tunnels of stars far beyond energy and matter. One was the way in, but at the far end, two were the portals, for three are the connected planets. I re-emerged from a path no human had ever taken, yet I had walked on it countless times before. And there, just, just when I thought my journey was over, my quest began. Through space, I had traveled to the place the green gods call home. Through time, to an age when Earth was young and the moon had no stains. In that place, about 10,000 parsecs northeast from our galaxy's center of mass, I met them and became one of them. I knew their technology. I, I told them about a desert planet with two moons where the days are long and warm, an ideal biome to seed and harvest the plant source of all our energy. After years of scanning, solar system after solar system, we finally found it. contact with the proto-humans who inhabited the arid planet. We taught them about the leaf, and they named us Green Gods. I knew about the threat they were under, a threat to their and my existence. I knew the desert, for I had passed its trial. I knew its water reservoirs, its flora, its fauna, its ways. For many days I had survived under its scorching sun. But unlike them, I never called it home. There, back on the planet I escaped, I finally understood. I achieved clarity of mine. This people's destiny and mine were intertwined. I had seen it happen. In order to have a future, they had to live where I was born, and I had to die where they were born. Here. I had lived longer than any human who had ever lived, learning things no person will ever know. I had walked the surface of frozen planets and watched stars collapse over a silent sky. But I had to die there, on a fragile grain of sand, floating in the universe an infinitely brief moment in the circular river of time. I had to die to save all humanity. I had to die to be born again. Okay, all right. So, yeah, that was kind of cool. Uh, so we went back in time. We were one of the green gods. 
by the looks of it, and a lot of the markings that were scrawled that we found, that was us that, write, that was writing that, and I'm assuming the plan to destroy it, we left that. That was possibly our base or something there, maybe. Interesting. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Is there any way to skip this? Uh, oh, you just pause it. Fair enough. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think for now, I think this is probably a good place to call it. And we'll end it, because, yeah, I don't really know what else to do after that. But, yeah, that was fun. Um, yeah, interesting story. I quite like this story in that one. That was that was good. Um, you know, often a lot of these survival games don't have great stories. But I think that was a pretty decent one. Um, yeah, I don't know what you guys think about that. But, yeah, that it kind of reminded me a little bit of... Um, I'm not sure if the story is still the same, but Stranded Deep, uh, where you're kind of, um, yeah, you're kind of in a time loop, as it were, in that. Uh, spoiler alert, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, that's how it was, but uh, it has been released since I, since I did my Let's Play, I believe, so um, that may have changed, but, uh, yeah, that was, kind of, that was kind of cool. I enjoyed that one, so, um, yeah, as I say, I think for now, I think we'll, I'll just let this play out, and then uh, we'll see if there's anything at the end. Oh, there we go. So you can uh, the the uh, this story is at an end, but you can continue playing and trying to survive. So if we just click continue, oh, I could just step. Ah, oh, interesting. I can just step out and go back. Sebastian's hungry. Well, I'm not surprised. I've been through a portal. <laughs> not surprised you're hungry, my friend. Um. I don't know if I've got anything to feed you. Uh, but anyway, I think for now, I think this is probably a good place to call it. And I think we'll end the episode here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put a save down um, because, I mean, I guess I could. I don't see any reason. I'm going to leave it just in case, I don't know, it messes something up. So, um, yeah. But uh, as I say, I think for now, I think this is where we'll call it. Ooh. And we'll end the episode. Uh, so if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone. And I'll catch you next time.